Is broccoli a woe food or a go food? A go food. Go food. My goal is to give them something that they take away, that they remember. Who has eaten go foods during the week? I ate the apple and yogurt. I ate vegetables and carrots. Mmm, good girl. Jamie, tell me a woe food. Chips. These children, there's still so much that they can learn and so many good things that we can teach them. So this one is grapes. That eating healthy is easy and that it's really good for them and that it's going to make a better life for them. Now if you eat too many woe foods, you won't be healthy, you won't be as healthy as if you eat go foods. Is that right or wrong? Right. Is that right or wrong? Right. They're like little sponges. Whoa food. It's a go food. Chocolate candies, candy. It's a whoa food, right? Okay. They just they get it. Ten natives. It is a wonderful program. Two, three, four, five. Catch healthy habits is a wonderful program. They love the snacks. They love the lessons. The Catch Healthy Habits program brings together adults age 50 plus and children to really benefit both generations. The adults and children play games, uh, share a healthy snack, and learn about healthy food choices. Really the program is designed to combat a really pressing problem in our communities today and that's obesity. It's the biggest problem we face in pediatrics now is the increased incidence of childhood obesity. For children, obesity has tripled over the last 30 years. They're sitting in the house watching too much TV and playing these video games and they should be out exercising and doing things. More go activities. Go, go, go. The Catch Healthy Habits program is designed to make learning about nutrition and exercise fun for little children. Lift it up and then hurry up and sit on the back. Volunteering adds more to my life than it does to the children with whom I'm volunteering, I'm sure. It's fulfilling. I get a joy out of it, just seeing kids being active. We're crawling, we're crawling. That's so it helps me knowing that I did contribute something to this child. Crawling. And it makes me feel good inwardly that I gave something back. Just like the sense of accomplishment that it gives me sense that I'm, I'm doing something for somebody else. It's, uh, I can't, I don't know how to describe it. Are we all standing by one? The first time we gathered the kids out in the field to form them up, and I'm standing there doing this, and about the second group of four, a little hand reached up and took my hand and held it. And talk about choke. I mean, it just floored me. This little boy had adopted me as his friend because I was out there with him, participating with him, helping him, and we were having fun together. And I was just blown away by it. It's like giving a gift when you give to these children. It, it makes you feel good. There are so many different ways to get involved. Hey, you did a marvelous job. This is an opportunity for people to be part of the solution to a problem that's putting our communities at risk. So you could be a part of helping to solve this problem in your community. That's a pretty important thing to do. Did you look at the labels? I wanted to pay back. Okay. I wanted to do something positive. I just think it's so, so very important. We're, We're all here to help one another. That's the way I look at it. It is its own reward. I mean, it's just fun. It's effortless. It makes me feel wonderful. I enjoy it so, so much. Just try. Just give it a chance.